everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon. Welcome to another No Pause video reaction and analysis. Today, I have got a request for my wonderful, newly upgraded to Powers of the Universe patron, Phil. I've mentioned him many times before. Um, this is uh, Louise Ferranc. Ferranc. Something like that. I don't know. I don't speak French. Uh, and this is Symphony number two i know it's going to be awesome because phil always feeds me the best stuff let's not hesitate let's get right into this let's hit that play button here we go Thank you. 
There goes up beats again. Love the imitation. Candy. What an amazing piece of music. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> the whole time I'm thinking, oh, how many man hours it took to write this. This is so much work. Oh. Oh. To achieve something so magnificent it takes a lot of effort and imagination and this piece has an abundance of, of, of both um, it always fascinates me with classical music how although you have themes that return that there are not these blatant repeated sections like we have in pop music, rock music, and all the other stuff that we listen to that's non-classical. Um, you know, maybe for the exception of jazz, but they do go to the head and they do repeat. So, you know, I think that falls in the category of, of music that repeats as well. But with classical music, um, you, you get a little something different. You'll get themes that come back and you'll get variations on the themes and it keeps it fresh and interesting. And um, I could hear that in this piece as well. Um, not only with the melodies, but also with rhythms. You know, I pointed out this upbeat thing that was going on. That happened at least three times in this piece where, the, where they got into these upbeats. And what was really interesting about the imitation and I had mentioned in this is that when they do the imitation, they are distributing the line, the melody, to other instruments. And they also will start to add harmonies to the imitation, to the line that they are passing around. And uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> um, 
you know this this is like to me when i think about having a piece of music that really hits all the check boxes for me it, it, this does for sure because it's like what's being utilized in, in this piece is so everything that you have if you're writing for an orchestra you have all of these devices all of these things that you can do and this piece just like it's just like nailing all of them the vocabulary of this person who composed this is so vast and so in control of being able to utilize all of those things that's dynamics and rhythms and uh, the different parts of the orchestra um that it just every everything everything about it that you can do you know and even there's like a section where i believe they go into six eight and then they go to a hard four right after that and it gives you a shift in the mood there's so much going on in this um beautiful piece absolutely uh captivating interesting and beautiful all at the same time uh breathtaking breathtaking it, it reminds me i went to the to the getty museum not long ago and i saw some some paintings that just made my heart race because the detail in these paintings was hard for me to comprehend that someone sat there and just <laughs> who knows for how many weeks made little tiny marks on the canvas on this massive ca canvas but they're drawing like every little tiny part of the person's dress or the or the flowers or the grass in the field and and it's like it's overwhelming um because you see the work that's there and it's like home leaf smokes you know what must it have taken to accomplish this and that's how i feel when i listen to this too overwhelmed um but in the best possible way because it's it just reminds me how capable uh humans are of achieving greatness so kudos thank you thank you again phil uh, for a wonderful request i'm going to put information from uh phil he always um sends me or he actually has a document that i get to check out he has all his notes in it and i'm gonna put some of that information in the description for you to check out for yourselves as well all right come back for more cool stuff we'll see you next time Bye bye